What, did, what all did you have done? I got um, I got a slight eyebrow lift, and that's why I had these staples Is in my head. Is that permanent? Yeah, it's permanent. It's not. They're not gonna come down a little. No, I had um, my nose redone. I had my own fat injected into my cheeks. I had my ears pinned back. I had injections in my lips. I had my chin shaved down. Um, I had my breasts redone and my back shaped. And then I had a little bit of inner and outer lipo done. You risked your life to do the things that you did. Mom, there's brain surgery every day. There's That's, huge surgery. You had that an elective every day. surgery that was completely unnecessary. And to you, it was unnecessary. I just feel like that when you left home, you had more confidence and more self esteem than any person I'd ever met in my life. Well, you know, growing up, I used to put water balloons in my bra and I always wanted big boobs, and, you know, it's not anything new. You said you want bigger boobs than you have now? I actually wanted bigger ones, but they couldn't fit in. It sounds to me like you want to look like Barbie. I do want to look like Why Barbie. Why would you want to look like Barbie? <laughs> to everybody else that saw you, you were Heidi. Nobody in the world could have looked like Heidi Montag. Are you telling me you don't think I look good? Uh, maybe you should rephrase the question. No. Do I look good? I mean, how do I go and say that, of course, I thought you were more beautiful before. I thought you were younger. I thought you were fresher looking. I thought you were healthier. What's done is done. So that's a terrible thing for me to say. But yes, yeah. that's how I feel. I felt that you were much more beautiful before. And I'm hoping that some of this will fade away and go away. You don't have to support it or think it looks good. But you have to realize what I've been through. And you have to realize that I've been through so much pain. And coming here and having you attacking me is just really hard. And I understand that you don't support it. I understand you're upset and you're disappointed. But, Mom, this is what I chose, and there's nothing that I can take back. 